Hey guys, Ben with House in Progress. We're back here today to show you how to make some cornhole boards. We'll call it about a three on the difficulty scale. Here we go. The tools you'll need are a miter saw to cut all the frame pieces, a drill with a hole cutting bit so that we can start the hole in the center of the board, a jigsaw so that we can cut the rest of the hole, a brad nailer is helpful, but you can also do this with a hammer and nail. Grab your tape measure and a sander to make sure you can clean everything up nice. When you're looking for materials, make sure to look down the board from all four sides to make sure it's as straight as possible. We'll need four two by threes for this project once you've found a couple good ones. Next, you're gonna go over and pick out your top of the board. We're gonna use a two foot by four foot piece of plywood or something similar. Then we're gonna go grab our bolts that will hold the legs on. We have to make sure these are strong enough and long enough to make it through the frame and the leg itself. After the hardware store, we'll come back and start marking our frame pieces. This is gonna follow the two foot by four foot tops that we made so that the cornhole boards are regulation size. Make your marks with a square and then take your miter saw and make your cut so that everything's square. After we have all eight pieces for our frame on both boards cut out, what we'll do is we'll adjust the miter saw to 45 degrees and then make a 45 degree cut on each side of the frame, being sure to keep the angles consistent so that when we put it together, it makes a rectangle. As you can see here, we'll lay everything out so we make sure we have all eight pieces of our frames on top of the top of the board so that everything matches up. Next, you'll take some wood glue, spread that across the top of the board, and then we'll match those 45 degree angles up that we cut and throw a brad nail in there just like this. Again, you can use a hammer and nail if you don't have a brad nailer like this one. We'll go ahead and do that on all four sides of both boards just the same way as we have, and then we'll show you how to fasten these together. Next, we'll go ahead and take our drill and we're gonna start with a couple pilot holes so that we make sure we know where our screws are going. Make sure your drill bit is long enough to get through both sides so that that screw that we're gonna put in holds one side of the frame to the other side. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put one screw in each side. This should be plenty to hold our frame together with the brad nail and the wood glue in there. We'll also point out here that we use some screws with a Torx head because we think they're easier to work with than a standard Phillips head screw. So now let's go ahead and put those in the pilot holes we just drilled. Now what we did here is we offset these so that we have one screw on each side, but they're not going to hit each other and they're going to hold the frame together plenty good with the wood glue and the brad nail that we already have in there. Once we get all of those done on both frames, then we'll move on to putting the top of the board on. That's gonna involve laying a bead of wood glue around the top of the frame first so that we can keep everything in place. Lay the board down. This will be plywood or whatever your material of choice is for the top of the board. Once you have that laid down, you're gonna go around and make sure that all four corners match before we actually start nailing anything. This is where our brad nailer comes in really handy. We'll use the brad nailer and go around the board, putting in one nail about every two to three inches, making sure we have one in the corner. If you don't have a brad nailer, that's okay. You can easily do this with a hammer and nail. Next, we'll start making our hole for the cornhole board. That's gonna be down nine inches from the center of the board and then exactly in the center between both sides. What we'll do to make our hole is we're just gonna take a simple device here. We're gonna take a nail and some string with the right radius. So we want a six inch hole, so our string is cut to three inches. We'll then stick a pen in the end and draw that circle so we know where to trace. You can also do this with a compass if you have one handy. Now, as we mentioned earlier, we'll take our hole saw bit to actually drill a hole near the line we just made so that we can put the jigsaw in and start tracing neatly where we just drew with our string. That's not gonna be perfect, so we'll sand that out later, but we're gonna use that as a template for our other board so that we don't have to get the string out again. Once you have that done, your boards should be almost ready to go 
The last steps are to finish everything out and put the legs on. So for the legs, what we did is we cut four 15 inch pieces of our two by three. And then we measured the center point and down the same distance. Now, that's where we're gonna drill our hole for the bolt to go through to hold the leg on. Now, we'll take our hole cutting bit again and drill through the board. That's gonna be where the screw goes to hold the leg on. As you can see on the left-hand side, we're making a radius so that the leg can rotate nice and evenly. If you don't wanna go through the hassle of making a perfect radius, you can also chop this at 45 degrees on each side. That should give you enough clearance so that you can easily rotate the leg. Now you're gonna take your leg and line it up in the corner of the board where it's gonna go and take your hole cutting bit and drill right through the hole that you already made in the leg. That's gonna drill the hole on the outside of the frame for you to put the bolt all the way through. What we're doing now is we're making sure that the board is 12 inches off the ground from the top of the board. So we're gonna take our measuring tape, measure a line at 12 inches, then make sure that that's straight so that when we set this down, our legs are flush with the ground. Next, we'll just thread the bolt through the holes that we already drilled. We want a washer in between the frame and the leg, and then a washer on the outside before we screw the nut on. So we'll take the first nut, screw that on tight, and then we're gonna take a second one and screw it on right after, and then tighten everything up so that they hold each other tight. Once you've done that on all four of your legs, make sure they all rotate as you'd expect, regardless of whether this is radius or a 45 degree angle, they should rotate okay. Then check to make sure that your board is 12 inches off the ground and your legs are flush before you finally go ahead and take your sandpaper and make sure the hole's perfectly round. Once that's done, you should have a finished set of cornhole boards ready to paint. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you next week.